Oh yeah, really? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? No, yeah, I'll come over there. I'll wipe that stupid smirk right off your face. Don't make me do it. Okay. Dude, knock it off. Miss B already hates you as it is, and if she kicks you out, that'd be, what, the tenth time this week? Dude, vacation is two days away. No one gives a crap about school right now. I'm just trying to help you so you don't get suspended again. Relax, she is way too wrapped up in that crap of a lesson plan that she has. I mean, who even cares about sine and cosine and cosatoa or whatever the hell it is? I mean, when is anyone Mr. Going... Anderson! What's up, Miss B? What's the answer to number four? Uh, that's, that's easy. It's, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I don't know. Of course you don't know. I mean, you would know if you actually paid attention for once in your life. I pay attention all the time. That's bull- <sighs> Todd. That's it. I'm done with you. You never pay attention. You fool around. You don't do your work. I'm sick of it. I- So does, uh, does that mean I get to leave? No. I have a better idea. So do I have to come after school? Nope. What the hell do you want? You'll find out soon enough. You know you're really pushing it with Miss B. She's out to get you and you think it's a big joke. Honestly, Andrew, you need to relax big time. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You're gonna quiz me to death? All I'm saying is that Miss B knows some weird people, and if you keep on acting like that, she's eventually gonna do something about it. Ooh, I'm so scared. Get out of here, I don't got time for this crap. Okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> hey, so what are we watching? Snakes on a plane. Oh, this movie again? We gotta clear the snakes out of the cockpit. Yeah, yeah, clear the snakes out of the cockpit. Yeah. Enough is enough! I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane! Everybody strap in! I'm about to open some freaking windows. Really? This is the best part of the whole damn movie. It's on TV. They can't just say it. There could be kids watching. I swore all the time as a kid. Yeah, that's why mom and dad grounded me for like three months in fourth grade. I didn't even do anything wrong. You punched a kid in the face and told him to piss off, and then proceeded to badmouth his family. That kid was mad for real. You're a jerk. Look at yourself. For breakfast. Do you hear that? Hear what? That noise every time I say. All I hear is your attitude, and I don't appreciate it. It's 7:30. You're gonna be late for school. Wait.
I made it. You would have made it if you were here like five hours ago. School's ended. Damn, I was like the third time this month. I got caught up with something at home and... <sighs> this should be good. What was it? All right, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but listen. When I woke up, everything about my life started getting censored. My face, my words, and ready, watch this. You're an idiot. Meet me at the parking lot on the far side of town if you want to know more about your problem. Anonymous. Send me the letter? Ah, uh, yeah, you're the one with the sensor card, right? Yeah, what the hell is going on? You're being watched. What do you mean, watching? Like, right now? 24 7. He's watching and censoring your life for his own amusement. What? Who is he? His name is Frank. He was a worker at the FCC. He worked with what was allowed on television and what, he, and what had to be censored, but he got fired because he kept tampering with the different Adobe programs and censoring things that shouldn't be censored. What? How do you know all of this? Because I. Was his first victim? What the? Find him by any means necessary and bring his madness to an end. Thank you. I, I will. When the days are you know, man. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, well, my parents don't feed me at home, and you have enough food here to last an apocalypse. So, you're welcome. Come here for a second. I mean, look, this guy could be anywhere. How am I supposed to find someone when all I know about him is that his first name is Frank? What is it? Well, the other day, I was looking for the answer key in Mr. Beck's room and... And, and what? His first name's Frank. Of course it was Mr. Beck. He would do anything to teach me a lesson. He, he hates my guts. Where are you going? I'm gonna end this. Well, that was some entrance. Most people come in and say hello. Cut the shit, fruitcake. I know what you're doing and it's ruining my life. So? So leave me alone. No problem. I am moving to Jamaica, man. And uh, it'll be no problem. You'll be out of my life. And the censoring? Well, I guess I've had my fun. And it appears you've learned your lesson. So I can take care of that. You're all set. Should be good to go. Really? That easy? You don't realize, but this whole experience has been a good thing for you. Of course. I now understand how my actions may attempt to sometimes impact words that help the community. Right? Sure. Why not? Does that look like a duck to you? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Beck! And no, it doesn't look like a duck. Woohoo! Yeah, looks like a duck to me. Just like that? Just like that. I guess I was too smart for him. Yeah, that's it. Cheers. <laughs> the hell? This tastes like